as we can already see, um, there is a heck of a lot of detail on this. I'd say it's up to standard with maybe a Dapol 68. It's probably even better than that. Uh, but there's a whole lot of detail in this thing, so uh, let's start getting through it. Uh, we're going to do the sides first, uh, then the cabs, and we'll have a look at the top. Um, so you can see here, um, we've got the, well, the livery, um, which is white, green, and grey. I think it's a really striking livery. I think it looks really good. It'd be great to see a uh, train operator in Britain using this really bright lime green. Probably one of my favourite colours, I'll be honest. Uh, so maybe I'm slightly biased towards it. But I think it does look really, really good. And there is delivery on here is really finely applied. Like there's no there's no paint bleed in any of this. Um, so if we just go around this sort of cab door area here, there's already maybe six or seven decals just in this area. We've got uh, metal handrails. We've got um, a door which has been lined out uh, with black. You can see that there is a handle painted there as well. We've got step ladder just down here and uh, there's another foothold there and then there's some decals just down the bottom here and one there as well. Very, very, very small details. Uh, moving along, uh, there's a load more um, de decals and stickers printed along the bottom of this uh, as well as obviously the massive Flix train logo. We can look at the bogies here. Just lift that up for a second. Um, we've got really detailed bogies. Uh, you can see the uh, disc brakes, you can see there's piping. There's a lot of piping actually. You can see um, more sort of um, hydraulic looking springs. There's even decals on the bogies um, and then more detail packed around here as well. Uh, so moving further down the side, we can see the big Flix train logo. It is slightly raised up um, from the paint, which seems a little bit strange, but maybe that is just how it is in real life. Being in England, obviously I've got no way of actually seeing these. Um, so again, if we look at these details at the bottom, we've got a Simon's logo here. And um, we can see it is a Vectron, which is sort of like the overall class um, for this type of engine. They do diesel versions as well. Um, we've got quite a big range of Vectrons, so I'll show some pictures later on of the other variants we have in different gauges. Uh, you can see here there's some more numbering. Um, you can see the 193 just there, 813-3, which is the number of this engine. You can also see our pool, uh, which means it's part of the rail pool fleet, um, as rail pool uh, provide Flix train with their engines. And we can also see there's another rail pool logo just there. Uh, if we look at this box down here, there is a whole load more decaling and different painted parts down here. There's just there's just so much detail. I'm actually getting lost for words. Um, but there's so many separately fitted parts down here um, in different with different colored decals um, and. It's all on the underframe, which, to be honest, you don't really get um, with a lot of the sort of Hornby products. There's never this amount of detail just going into the underframe, which is quite insane, really. And then, uh, as you can see, we've got another bogey here. I think that's a third rail pickup shoe. Um, and then, again, we've got the brake discs and a whole load of separate wires and parts attached uh, to these bogies here. Maybe it looks a little bit plasticky. Um, but compared to how good the rest of this model is, I don't really think I can, play, can complain about that. And then just moving further back to the cab, um, we can see again, we've got more decals, rail pool logo, um, some warning stickers. For the pantographs, we've got the pantographs up there. Um, so that's what that warning sticker's about. Um, and then we've got one here, meaning it's number one cab. So I think we've actually been looking at this the wrong way around. And at the back here, um, you can see there is a two, which means it is the number two cab. So if we take a very close look at the cab here, uh, we can see that there is an interior to the cab. Um, you can just about see a seat there and you can see sort of the console here. It's not painted out in any other color, uh, which sort of surprises me. I was expecting there to be a bit more detail in there given the high quality detail on the rest of it, but then I guess it has got the tinted window, so you can't really see inside it. Um, there's holes here, I presume, to attach wipers. Um, so there is more detail, but you do need to fit yourself, which I guess could be a downside, but it also gives you the option to customise it how you want it to be. Uh, you can see again, we've got the Flix train logo, uh, and then we've got the number of the engine there. Uh, we've got some very nice looking lights. These do actually work. Um, I have given this a brief test run because um, I was so excited to actually making this video that I thought I'd take it out. Uh, no sprung buffers on this. Um, and they do look a little bit plasticky, I will admit, these buffers. Um, however, there's just so much more detail in front, it sort of negates that. Um, there's some sort of walkways here. There's even a decal on that walkway, uh, which says Simon's. And we've got more uh, detail um, behind the hook coupling. Obviously, this does come with European couplings. 
And you can also see down there, there is a silver plow um, just down there. So there is, as I'm saying, there's just a lot um, of detail in this and I'm very, very, very impressed so far. Um, we can also see up here there is a couple more um, warning decals as well. And this is also the same for the other cab. If we now take a look at the roof, you can see there is also a lot of detail on here. You can see it's actually quite a wide engine. Uh, it's a very, very chunky, very heavy model, um, and that will contribute to how well it runs, as we'll see later on. But you can see here we've got metal pantographs. Now, I haven't actually tested to see if these uh, lift up um, because I don't want to break it. Uh, so I guess you could probably mark it down for that. Uh, you can also see there's some wiring going along here. Um, and there's multiple parts picked out into different colours. We've got blue, greens here, we've got some whites. We've also got various grills and metal plating. And you can see just here we have the two horns for the engine. Uh, we can also see there's a, little, there's a lot more detail uh, on the roof. We've got more grills on the side of the end. Also, there are multiple uh, just little silver bits um, dotted along. Some of this is moulded, um, but it's very, very good moulding. Uh, this is made to a really, really high standard.